You're welcome to the Paul's Business Wrap, and here are the top stories for today. CEO of the Chamber of Bulk Oil Distribution Companies, Senor Jose, has hit back at critics who say oil companies are ripping Ghanaians off by increasing fuel prices at a rate higher than the purported 5% approved by Parliament. According to him, Parliament only approves taxes and not the price at which oil should cost at the pumps. In other news, Member of Parliament for the Finance Committee, Dr. Mark Esibeyaboa, has revealed that claims by Finance Minister Seth Thekbe that proposals have been sent to Parliament to reverse the 1% withholding tax on investment is untrue. The Minister of Finance in a press statement on Monday said it has submitted proposals to Parliament to reverse the 1% withholding tax on local investors. Finally, to our market updates for today, starting from the currency market, the dollar is inching closer to the four Ghana cities match, buying at three cities 79 pesos and selling at three cities 90 pesos. The pound sterling is buying at five cities 56 pesos and selling at five cities 70 pesos. The euro is buying at four cities 7 pesos and selling at four cities 30 pesos. Now to the biggest gainers and losers on the Ghana Stock Exchange, Iton Drax recorded the biggest loss for the second day running, dropping 2 pesos in share prices, whereas Total Ghana Limited and UT Bank gained a peso each, being the biggest earners for today. And that is a wrap for business today. For more, log on to the website pulse.com.ga.